Good morning, my beautiful soul followers. How is everyone doing on this Tuesday morning or whenever you're watching it? I am Addison Bell. If you do not know me, if you are new to my page, I'm Addison Bell, sex and relationship coach, orgasmic frequency coach, uh, and helping you just live that better life. So today I was, I, actually I've been thinking about this topic for a few days in all truth and honesty and sorry for the lighting, I'm crap lighting today, but you guys get me raw and real today. Raw and real, not that it's not raw and real every time, but the lighting really actually sucks today. It's okay, it's okay. But I've been thinking about this topic for the last few days. So the other day I was doing a, a session with a client and he was describing this woman he had gone on a date with. And no less than three or four times, he was like, she's just crazy. She's crazy. He had been dating her for, for a couple times. It wasn't just one date. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. And she kept, he kept throwing this word out. Um, and I sat there. And at one point, I was like, I need you to stop using that word. I need you to stop using that word. And then we talked about it. But it was incredibly triggering for me. I absolutely hate that word. I really struggle with the word crazy. And I was thinking about why I struggle with the word crazy. And it actually is because I feel like it is very much something we brush somebody off with. And it goes beyond just a simple word. It goes way beyond just a simple word. And so hang in there with me for a second as I kind of jump into this. So I know for myself, probably five, four or five years ago, uh, there was some people in my life and they got the word, they were like, Addison's crazy, Addison's crazy, and it became a label. It became a label ever so much that I actually, for a Christmas present, got a crazy chick uh, mug, and it became almost this label. And then this particular, these few people could not see beyond that label. They really, should, they thought it was funny, and in truth, at some point, I thought it was like a little funny too. But at the end of the day, underneath it, it was this label, this negative label. And this is what I'm really getting at because, first off, we don't call men crazy very often. We oftentimes do not look at men and go, they're crazy. They're crazy. They really have to do something. I actually made a TikTok a while back on this one. Funny one. But they really have to do something insane. Like, truly insane. Like, go kill somebody. Or, you know, really, really kind of uh, go into a very unhealthy mental space for us to call them crazy. And yet, we will easily call a woman crazy. We easily jump on, she's crazy, she's crazy, she's crazy, she's crazy. And what crazy oftentimes means in our world, that label is they're emotional. They're hormonal, per se. And so we put this label on particularly women, but it goes on this labeling in general that I feel like we're doing right now in our world that is incredibly dangerous. Instead of leaning into somebody and go, wow, they're, they're acting out of the norm. They're acting kind of out of their character. Or I feel like they're really emotional right now and I'm feeling the energy's a little, per se, crazy. Instead of inquiring and trying to go deeper and going, okay, I need to know like what's behind this energy. What is it that is you know creating this what is going on in your brain where do where is the logical process because most of the time we all have a logical process or we can say to another person i don't know what the logical process right now this is how i'm feeling right now though we don't do that we don't inquire and i think this is the issue in our relationships as a whole We've stopped inquiring. We want to slap a label on people. So I hear the other, the other word I absolutely dislike is toxic. I hate when we call people toxic. Oh, that person's toxic. That person's toxic. That person's toxic. Labeling someone toxic is toxic. It is toxic to someone else's mental health. And I know that we can get into, well, why are we letting other people's opinions of us matter? Guess what? Those of us close 
to others in our lives, our opinions do fucking matter. And they should matter. They should matter. Now, should they carry the same weight as what we think of ourselves, our spirituality, all of that? No, they shouldn't. They should not be able to drag us completely down and smash us apart. But if somebody else's thought process doesn't, that is close to you, a close relationship doesn't matter at all, then you need to check that relationship. You need to check that relationship because then there's no bonding. There's no care. There's no, there is no, oh, wow, like, why are you, you perceiving me this way? I hate when we go, oh, no, other people's opinion shouldn't matter. Well, you know, that, that works to a degree. That works to a degree. And then if nobody's opinion ever matters to you, then you are an island. And that's not relationship. But going back to our topic, I'm feeling a little fired up today. Feeling a little fired up today. The fact is we don't really inquire into somebody else's opinions. So I remember I told you that, that this time period when, you know, people, I had a group of people in my life that were like, oh, Addison, she's crazy. She's a crazy chick. She's crazy. She's crazy. And in truth, if anybody had ever inquired, I was going through a really difficult time and I was emotional. I do tend to, I should have gotten a heart instead of, uh, my angel wings, maybe I'll add a heart to my sleeve because I am a very emotional person. I'm very in tune with my emotions. So uh, it was very interesting to see the lack of inquiry. It's easy to label somebody. It's easy to slap a label on somebody, including the word toxic too. It's easy to slabel, slap this label and dismiss people. And that's what we do when we call somebody crazy. We call them insane. We call them toxic. We dismiss somebody. And we also take the burden off of us to do anything about it. It's like, well, that's just how they are. That's like, it has nothing to do with me. It might not, it has nothing to do with the fact that I may have triggered this other person. I may maybe said something really crappy to that other person, but the fact is, it's not my fault because they're crazy anyway. They're crazy anyway. We do this. We go, I don't have to act appropriate because this person's crazy anyway. Well, I don't have to inquire. I don't have to find out basically the thought process because the fact is our emotions comes from thoughts and anybody in your life that has any internal sense of self and is, is connected to themselves, we'll be able to say, well, you said this and this triggered this and then I feel this and, you know, I felt this going on in my life or I have, you know, so the fact is there's times I even, I will, I'll be like, I'm feeling crazy today. I, I have a friend that I'll look at and I'll just be like, I'm, I'm off today. I am hormonal. I am emotional. Some shit happened in my life. I am feeling a little kind of wonky today. So I'm more, I'm giving you warning that I'm more sensitive. Well, the fact is when we start labeling people with these big things like toxic and crazy and whatever other kind of big fat labels, narcissist, that's another one. Uh, we stop being able to listen. And that's, that's my main point here is when we start putting these very, 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 very negative labels on somebody, we stop being able to truly see them. We stop being able to see potentially the thought process and the logic and the truth to their emotions. Uh, and we start to, to see them acting out of nowhere instead of really seeing kind of maybe the potential build up of something. And when we start labeling them, they start being not, oh, bleh. I'm getting tongue tied tongue today. They start not being able to share with us. And the fact is, it's like a soda bottle. If you call someone crazy, they're not going to want to share with you. And what you they end up doing is shaking up that soda bottle until they explode. And then guess what? Then they are fulfilling that prophecy of they're crazy. See, they're crazy. They just blew up instead of I didn't want to hear this, 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 and this. And then they, then they finally exploded because I wasn't able to see beyond their label. The same thing with the term toxic. It's like, if you label somebody toxic, then no matter what they do in your life, no matter what they do, they could like bring you, bring you a beautiful cup of coffee and be like, Hey, I bought you this. It'd be like, so toxic. They're, they're obviously love bombing me because they brought me coffee. They're love bombing me. They brought me coffee. They're so toxic. They're so narcissistic. Like, 
you see how we can easily slip into these things. So I want you to really look at how you're labeling people. First of all, if you're using the word crazy, check with yourself, like, are you actually using that with just women or are you using it as a whole? Um, the other thing is, are you inquiring? Are you, are you putting your effort in or are you really laying down into this bubble of this label you have put on somebody else? Uh, and are you really seeing them? Are you seeing them beyond that? So that's really my message. It really was more of a PSA because I feel like we are, we are just, angry, there's a, this energy of just anger and not wanting to see each other and wanting to kind of dismiss people in the world. And it's, uh, I feel this energy in the world as I, I don't watch a lot of news, but as I watch the news, as I listen to people talk to each other, you know, not being able to hear other people's opinions. And it's a lot easier to shut someone down than to go into our hearts and really try to see another's perspective. So, on another note, if you want help in your relationship, if you want help healing kind of the triggers and the traumas that have maybe created your quote unquote crazy, uh, or your emotions, or healing that relationship that you really truly want, but there is some dysfunction in it, there is some toxicity in the relationship then reach out to me at edisonbell.net. We can set you up for a consultation and get you on your way, whether that is in coaching or integrative type of work with energy. Uh, so, all right, guys. I'd love to hear what you thought below. Tell me about your crazy. Tell me about, about how you're labeling people, your opinions. I love to hear from my fellow followers and, and people who are on this journey. So, all right, guys. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Bye.